Hey everybody, welcome to my garage. I just wanted to share a quick video um, concerning my after cooler. This is a Cummins 6 BTA after cooler. Uh, it's the A in the 6 BTA. Um, I just serviced, bench serviced this after cooler. I had the whole thing apart. There's a, another video that I shot on that. That um, I have all the raw footage. I haven't edited it up yet because it's, it's quite... Uh, it's quite a lot of stuff, but uh, this is going to go back in the boat. Um, it's Sunday. It's uh, I think it's the last day of March, March 31st. And uh, just out of a abundance of caution, I just wanted to pressure test the aftercooler and make sure that it holds uh, both air and water before it goes back in the boat. So I just figured I would just show you that process because I, I haven't seen anything on YouTube that covers it. But uh, essentially, uh, this is the water inlet. And this is the water outlet up top here. And I just plugged both of those. I used a uh, rubber rubber cap. It's a Fernco coupler. Here's the actual things right here. These are inch and a half. The inch and a quarter is really fit, fit right. But uh, the two local home centers, neither of them had them. So uh, I just put these on here and uh, squeezed them down pretty good. Tightened them down. Um, they, they do fine. So right now, actually, what I'm capping is I'm capping the raw water side. Um, you know, arrow water is either going to move one direction or the other. If it's sealed, uh, you know, you're, you're going to know it. So I, I think it's just a little easier to cap the raw water side. What I did is I came up here and I uh, removed the new zinc. And I just made a little adapter here. It's a half inch pipe thread. And then uh, there's a hose barb on there. It's quarter inch pipe thread and then I put a little piece of tubing on here and connected it to this guy right here. Um, this is a actual, this is an automotive uh, radiator. You know, it's a cooling system pressure tester. Um, it came off this guy right here. This is whatever. This is no commercial for the particular brand. You could buy this anywhere. Um, I think I think I stole this from my father. He comes to my house looking for most of the stuff, but this would screw on where your radiated cap goes, and then it's eighth inch pipe thread. So I just took it off the pump, and then uh, added a barbed adapter on there with a little piece of surgical tubing um, that I had laying around that I use for. And I use this stuff for, you know, working on my cars for uh, smoking out, looking for vacuum leaks and stuff like that. If you also work on your cars, you'll know that uh, I own three BMWs, so vacuum leaks are like a given. Okay, there's, you know, you own a BMW, there's, there's three things in your life that are certain. You know, death taxes and vacuum leaks. So, uh, this is what I have here. I, I just I just took it off again. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump this up to, uh, you know, between 15 and 20 pounds. And then I'm going to let it sit for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And if it holds that pressure, um, then we're, we're good. So, uh, I'm going to... Uh, Put you guys on my my high tech tripod right now. We'll do this here, and here we are. We're back, uh, back right here. I'm actually just using this spring clamp, and I'm gonna spring my phone down because I don't care. It's already got a broken screen anyway. So I don't know. This looks this looks pretty good to me. All right, so let's let's give it a shot. Okay, I'm all capped up. My pressure in here right now. You'll take a look. You'll see I'm at uh, I'm at zero. Okay, right here. Here we go. Pump it up. Okay, right there. That's uh, that. So it gives me a range. That's like 13 to 14 pounds. Um, I mean, that's good. I mean, anything in this, in this range, you don't, the reason I like this hand pump is because you don't want to put compressed air on this. You, you blow the thing up. You don't need to do that. Let me bring it up. I'm in here in the green range. Yeah, this is good. This is like between 17 and 19 right there. Try and show it to the camera. So, I mean, it's going to settle. The rubber caps are actually bulging out right now. So, um, I'm going to say that this needle 
is just to the right side of uh, 17. So, uh, I don't know. Let's see. I'll come back in about 20 minutes and uh, we'll cap it up. Okay, so through the power of time travel, here we are. We're about 20 minutes in the future. And uh, we're looking good here. We're holding at we're holding at 17 pounds. I actually figured out if you twist this around, if you, if you kink the hose, if you if you push on the rubber caps, it actually affects it. But um, you know, we're we're holding air, we're holding pressure here. Uh, I'm satisfied with the results. Um, if you don't think, I'll just to give you an idea of how much pressure. Um, this is here. Just take a look here. You can see this cap. I'll let the pressure out now. The cap is extended because it is rubber. There it is leaking. So yeah, that's that's a good amount of air in there. Okay. So I think if it can hold that air. For 20 minutes, it's uh, it's gonna be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, take this out now. This is just that half-inch adapter. Okay. And you can use this, um, you could plug your heat exchanger, and you could plug your, your, where your zinc goes in your heat exchanger. Um, the other thing you could do is you can, um, I'm going to put this back together now. Um, you could also take that, that radiator adapter that's on there, and you can pressure test the freshwater side, you know, of your system as, as well. I'm sort of... I'm doing a raw water test. This after cooler doesn't have anything to do with the antifreeze um, or anything like that. You know, that would be, again, you'd test that system. You'd be testing um, where all your coolant runs. And uh, obviously, that's that's not what we're doing right now. But, you know, all, basically the same rules apply. That looks good through there. Um the same rules apply. If you can hold a little air, you can hold a little water, 20 pounds. You don't, I don't, wouldn't recommend going above that. I mean, even 10 or 15, you could see that's, that's plenty, um, plenty of weight. So good luck. Don't forget to take care of your after coolers. They're the most uh, important part of uh, your turbo diesels um, intake system there. It's a lifeblood. If they're going to leak and they're going to push raw water, seawater, uh, up into your intake, uh, that's not good. That's not good. So if you want to keep uh, keep a close eye on your expensive hardware, I suggest doing a pressure test after you service.